new here, welcome. My name is Jessica of Miss More Style. I make videos about affordable fashion, lifestyle, beauty, and travel. And today I'm doing another haul. This is a haul that I planned on doing months ago. It's an H&M haul. Now there's a fun little story that goes into this haul, but before we get into that, I just wanna say if you are new and you're not already subscribed, maybe you've watched a couple of my videos, maybe this is your first one. Make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn it gray, and also ding that notification bell if you haven't done so already so that you're always notified when I upload a new video. I do a lot of affordable fashion hauls here, so if you're into hauls, you'll definitely be into some subscribing. If you haven't also done so, find me over on Instagram. I also am there sharing some other fun fashion content, so if you enjoy me here, you will definitely enjoy me over on the gram. So, as I said, this haul has kind of a backstory. Basically what happened was, I went on H&M very beginning of June to make an order. They had some really cute stuff in, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make an order. I want some of this stuff. They had some Bermuda shorts, which I really was looking into some like nice tailored Bermuda shorts for the summer, um, because we all know that's been a thing. Um, and they had some really cute dresses and other odds and ends that I wanted. So added to cart, it was about $150 or so, and ordered. Well, a week went by, and I got an email from H&M being like, hey, uh, your order is going to be 10 days late due to coronavirus shipping, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. So 10 business days go by, still no order. So I go in to my little tracking information to see like where my little order is on its trajectory of getting to me. And it literally like had been stuck at the same place in its tracking for so long. So I was like, okay. So I called H&M and I'm like, look, it's been 10 days. Like my thing hasn't moved in like a week or so. Like what's the deal? And they were basically like, yeah, like we're experiencing delays, but give it till July 4th. And if your order hasn't shown up by July 4th, then you can call us back. It probably will be lost in the mail at that point. So we will issue you a refund. So I waited till July 4th, actually July 5th. And of course the package hadn't shown up yet. The tracking still hadn't changed at all. So I was like, all right, it's probably lost in the mail. I'm gonna get a refund for this. So H&M refunded me and I was like, well, that really sucks because there was some stuff in that haul that I really wanted. And of course everything is sold out. Um, that I had ordered so I couldn't like make a new order of the things that I picked and I was bummed but I moved on with my life. <laughs> Two days ago I went down to the mailroom, checked my mail and you guys, I had a package from H&M and it was this order. It's kind of like Christmas in July although by the time you watch this it might be August but I basically got $150 worth of H&M stuff for free because they lost my package for so long so none of this stuff will be available on H&M I can't really link these things in the description box for you, but if you're interested, I will try to find most the most similar pieces that I can if you want to shop them. And then hopefully this haul just gives you some fun fashion inspo anyway. Done with my little story time. Let's get into this haul. First things first, I got this pair of like olive green Bermuda shorts. They are so, so nice. They're sort of like a linen feel. And when I bought these, these were like the um, gateway drug purchase for this haul. I was looking for Bermuda shorts that were tailored and I found these and I sort of thought about it for too long. You guys ever do that? You like put something in your cart and then you're like, mm, but do I need it? Do I need to buy anything right now? You know, financially, maybe I shouldn't be shopping. And then I thought about it a couple days and I was like, you know what? Those are really nice, very classy Bermuda shorts. I should just go ahead and get them. Well, I went back to buy them and they were sold out in my size six. So I ordered them in a size four, hoping that maybe this was like the one time that H&M ran a little bit big or maybe I lost some weight. I was hoping for either of those situations. Unfortunately, these are too small, so I will be putting these on my Poshmark if you are a size four and you're looking for some very, very nice linen uh, olive green Bermuda shorts, then go down in the description box for the link to my Poshmark and check it out. Even if this won't fit you and you're not interested in them, you should still check out my Poshmark because I've got a lot of good stuff on there that's basically been worn once or almost never, so. While we're on the topic of Bermuda shorts, I found another pair um, and these are so cute. They're sort of like a beigey cream color and I want to say they're kind of linen-y but they're also just a little bit softer than those were. They're a little bit more like a flowy material. These are like, you know, just more neutral and casual than the other ones. Honestly, I like the other ones better than these. I'm really sad that they don't fit me but these are really cute and I actually had just bought, a day before this all showed up, I had bought like an exact same pair of these from Zara because I never got this order and so now I'm gonna go ahead and return the Zara ones because they're literally the identical shorts but I like that the back is a little bit stretchy. That's really nice. I don't know, are you guys into this Bermuda shorts thing? I'm kind of on the fence about it and you'll see in the styling like 
I like it, but like I feel like it has to grow on me. I feel kind of weird in them, but I'm trying to embrace it because I feel like they look so chic on other people. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment. So I'm going to style the Bermuda shorts a couple ways for you. This way I'm really loving. It's very like, kind of like, how would I classify this? Sort of like city slicker meets Western. That's how I feel with this hat and like the corset, but with the blazer and the tailoredness of the shorts and the heels. Uh, I'm really into this look. I wasn't planning on styling this with this hat, but then I threw it on last minute and I love the sort of monochromatic uh, vibe going on here. You'll notice the blazer and the shorts don't perfectly match each other, but I think it's okay because then it's got like a white top and some other tans going on. So like all together, it sort of all complements and goes together um, without like, you know, obviously I'm not trying to match it all and it's very clear. I think this is a very chic way to wear this look and I'm kind of into it. This is another one of those face masks um, that I have from Shein that looks like a scarf but actually has um, a mask that can go up over your face and little ear holes and so I can run around and be very very stylish like this and also be safe and keep others safe. Wonderful! You're done with it and you don't need a face mask on anymore. You can tuck it in. Voila! Here is an alternative look with the Bermuda shorts. I like to feel like this is sort of like more of a resort vibe. What I would wear if I was going on a vacation somewhere. It feels a little bit more tropical or vacation-esque. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. And it just feels like a very like laid back but still um, chic look that you could wear if you were, you know, somewhere relaxing on the weekend or if you were at a resort somewhere. I'm at least dreaming that I'm at a resort somewhere when I'm wearing this. This next piece was one of the things that I was really sad when I thought that I was never getting this order because it is this really cute, oh look, it kind of matches what I'm wearing, uh, this really cute pink, like, very breezy, poofy sleeve dress. And I got this because if you guys have watched a couple of my hauls this summer, then you know my sort of like philosophy of getting like yourself some daytime nightgowns where it's like a very cute dress, but it's also extremely comfortable and not warm fitting at all and super easy to wear around the house, but also go out in public and look cute in. And I feel like this is just that. And that's why I call them a daytime nightgown because I feel like when I'm wearing this, I might as well be wearing a nightgown, but it's very chic and acceptable to go out and actually you look very put together and cute when you leave the house, but you feel maximum comfort. And I think in the try on, I'm going to show you guys a couple ways that I would style this, maybe like a very like dressed up way and a very dressed down way. Um, just to show you how versatile this dress is. I'm obsessed with it. Here's my everyday look with this pink dress. I actually wore this out to run errands the other day and I really thought it was a very chic and cute. Got my LV dupe that I use on the daily. I love it so much. And I put the belt around it for this option just to give it like a little bit more definition. And I think that the brown tones really go with the ones in the bag and in my sandals and in my sunglasses, which conveniently are on a sunglasses chain, which I love. I've also got this little pink neck scarf that I bought from Shein, but guys, I love this so much because it's actually also a face mask. So see how I tucked the face mask part in when I didn't need it? but then you can basically bring it up and put it around your ears when you do need to have it. And all together, it's just like, hi. I mean, what a time to be a celebrity, right? Like they can just walk around anywhere and no one sees them. But I think this is a really adorable look for errands and whatnot and feeling very feminine and cute. I got a lot of compliments on this. People were like, why, why are you so dressed up? Where are you going? And I'm like, you know, I exist. It's an ongoing thing and I think it's pretty special. That's a TikTok reference in case you guys didn't know. Follow me on TikTok by the way. The link is down there. Here is that pink dress a little bit more dressed up. If I was going to a party, this is how I might wear it. Um, I think it looks a little bit more high fashion when you wear it without the belt. It's just like that shape, that oversized thing that's really big right now. So I went ahead and just did not put a belt on it for this particular look with these so fun like rainbow heels from Nina shoes you guys you have to check these out they have sales every once in a while so you can get these um, for less but how colorful are these they make the whole outfit in my opinion and I love all the little um, details this red bag with pink I love red and pink together I think it's such a fun combo went ahead and pulled my hair back with this fun bow from Etika you guys caught my Etika collection video, make sure that you check it out. I'll put the link to that in the description box for you. It's an amazing jewelry and accessories brand that if you don't know about them, you need to. And the two versions do you guys like better? Do you like this one better or do you like the more casual version better? 
let me know in the comments. Let's do a couple accessories that I got, shall we? So this is one of the accessories that I bought in this haul. It's a very cute little woven uh, straw visor. And this part is like sort of a natural straw. And then this right here, you can see, and on the trim is like a metallic gold. Um, I wanted a visor so badly for like being outside when I go on a hike or if I'm going out on a walk. There's a lot of outdoor things happening for me this summer because of Corona and not really having much other options. So I wanted like something cute that, um, you know, could go with a lot of things that's stylish and that I could also like wear my hair up in a bun because like baseball caps are great, but I don't really like how restricted you are with your hair. And I also don't like that they can make you have hat hair afterwards. So I feel like this kind of is a way to get around that, but still cover your face and look cute at the same time. I also picked up a belt that I'm obsessed with. It is this faux leather sort of perforated belt. And it's got this smaller leather strap that runs around. I just love that little bow detail. It's very feminine and beautiful. It's a perfect like neutral brown color to go with a lot of things. You'll see in this haul that I styled this with a lot of, well, with several of the pieces. Um, and then the back has some stretch to it, which I really like, and it just uh, fastens like that. And it's such a great belt. I love that that little stretchiness in the back gives it some give so that like, you know, depending on what kind of day you're having, it still feels fine. This next piece was something that was a little bit out of my normal comfort zone, but I'm trying to do things like try like interesting styles. And so I saw this sort of like utility button down shirt and you can see it's like rather big made from this sort of like nylon-y type material i got it in a small because i knew like from looking at the model that it's going to be kind of oversized and it really is but i do like that it has these little like pockets and stuff it's just a really cool different shirt for summer it's more androgynous i know i tend to skew more feminine styles so i do like to try sometimes to like step out of that and try things that are a little bit more fashion forward and like different for me because I love experimenting with fashion so this was definitely the piece in this haul that I got to sort of push me out of my comfort zone a little bit so in the try on I'll show you guys a couple different ways that I styled this it's really a very versatile piece and I'm so bummed that I can't link it for you all because I really love it so much but like I said I'll try to find similar ones and link them down below for you here is my most basic version of this look I'm going to show you several different ways that I'm styling this but first wanted to just start off with like the simplest. I've just got it on over these sort of similarly colored beige uh, slacks from the Who What Wear collection at Target. Of course, wearing my one of my favorite pairs of shoes this summer, the Find Sandals, and I've got this little um, Louis Vuitton dupe that I recently got from Wish. I think this is just a really simple, classic, casual outfit. Um, and this shirt is very lightweight, it's very breezy. And I think this is a very like fashion forward sort of look i would not normally go for something so baggy on my frame because usually i like to show my figure but i think wearing something a little bit more oversized it's a little bit more out of my comfort zone but i think it's very very chic what do you guys think do you like to wear things that are foot fitted or are you into this oversized look that's happening right now here is the second way that i would wear this top i've got it belted with the belt from this haul which i think also looks perfect with it um, paired it with some more neutral type accessories this bottega veneta dupe that i got a while back and these very strappy nude sandals that i um, have styled in a similar way in other hauls i have um, been really playing around with this trend of like taking strappy sandals and tying them around the bottoms of my pants it's like a, a thing right now and i'm experimenting with it i think that to really make it work you need to have like your pants need to be longer and maybe a little bit baggier, but you know, we're trying it. We're trying it out. But I like this silhouette. This is like a little bit more comfortable for me because it is nipped in at the waist. So I find it to be a little bit more in my own personal fashion comfort zone. Um, but I still think that this is a beautiful way to wear it. Maybe a little bit more a feminine version. The next version I'm going to show you guys doesn't involve these pants. It's a completely different take. And let's this look was a bit inspired by Pinterest. I saw a similar outfit on Atlantic Pacific, Blair Edie. Um, hers was quite different from this, but I kind of loosely was inspired. Um, but I am using it as a jacket right now, and I think it's a really cute like this. Something different. I think this look is quite chic and interesting. Um, also not like my norm, but again, like I said, I was a little inspired by Pinterest. I have my uh, Donna Karen sunglasses on, and I got this new sunglasses chain from Shein and I'm obsessed with it. It is 
literally like I, I use it every day it's like so grandma chic and I'm here for it I'm using red as sort of like my pop of color in this and you know because we're living in crazy times now starting to amask, amass a mask a mask a face mask collection that I have enough face masks now to really match outfits with so I mean here we go what do we think that's <laughs> enough of that Make sure to wear your mask people this last piece i remember finding it on the site and thinking wow what a steal because if I'm, my memory serves me this was like 19 dollars or something when it was on sale and it's just this beautiful dress it's got this sort of like floral mesh overlay with a like nude slip underneath and it's like pretty long it's not a maxi dress but it's more of like a midi almost maxi length but it's got this like shorter slip underneath and it's so pretty. It's just got a very soft, like feminine elegance to it. Um, if anybody was getting married this summer or if there was any like nice parties to go to, this would definitely be something that I would wear. Um, but I guess I'll just have to save it for next summer or just wear it around my house and feel fancy by myself for my husband. Um, but honestly, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Um, and I got a small in this one and it definitely fits me very well i wish the pants from h m could also skew a little bit bigger so that i could fit into those shorts so this dress y'all oh my god like i just love the way it moves and it flows it's so ethereal and pretty and i just thought it would be a really good way to accessorize it by adding some more soft accessories like this sort of baby pink kate spade bag and these sort of dusty pink uh, suede sandals as well as like a little headband and these earrings. I just think that I, this look is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I wish I could go somewhere and be dressed up. Ugh. But I want to show you um, with the belt that I got in this haul how you can really even transform this dress even more. Now I've thrown on the belt and you can see what a difference it makes. It's like makes it just even better. I feel like in my opinion, the belt adds that definition to bring your waist in and it goes so perfectly with the dress. Like it's like almost like they were made for each other. And yeah, I just feel like a modern day princess in this look. Well, that concludes my little crazy H&M Christmas in July haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you did, leave me a comment down below. Also, let me know down below what other stores you might like to see hauls from. I know that I've had a couple requests for Target, um, more H&M, maybe some Express, um, just some different stores. So if you have requests, please leave them down below and I will be more than happy to go online shopping. You guys know I love it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you subscribe or if you prefer to watch a couple more videos and see if you want to stick around, please do so. These are some great ones right here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.